Hello traders everywhere. Jeremy Lutz coming from the digital studios of Market Club. And say it isn't so. Back-to-back -back gains in the stock market this week? Beginning of the week, it would have been hard to believe that's the case, but that is in fact what we're looking at today. And it's all due to the fact that the auto tariff delay by President Trump saying that he may push them back by six months lifted the market after it was down in early market hours this morning. We're taking a look currently at the S&P 500, which currently has a chart analysis score of negative 60 with a red weekly trade triangle and a green monthly trade triangle. Currently trading at 2,858.52, up about eight tenths of a per percent on the day, making it back to back gains in the middle of the week we'll have to see if that continues as we move along key level to watch remains 2954.13 a move above that level would issue a green weekly trade triangle for the s p 500 dollar index currently trading at 95.57 with a chart analysis score of plus 80 indicating that overall we're still in a long-term uptrend but it is coming under some recent pressure the last week or so Key level to watch would be 97.13. A move below that level would issue a, a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move to a sidelines position for the U.S. dollar. Dow Jones currently up about six tenths of a point or 153 points on the day with a chart analysis score negative 60 indicating that we are in a sidelines mode for the Dow. Currently trading at 25,685.90. Key level to watch would be 26,695.96. A move above that level would issue a green weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a long position for the Dow. NASDAQ having the best day of the three, currently up over 1.1% on the day, trading at 7,825.90. However, chart analysis score is still negative 60 with that red weekly trade triangle in play. Key level to watch would be 8,176.08. A move above that level would give a green weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a long position. For the Nasdaq. Crude oil giving us a green daily trade triangle today at 6182. Uh, moving the chart analysis score to plus 55. So we are in a sidelines mode across the board. Currently trading at 6220, up about 1.3% on the day. Key level to watch would be 6073. A move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle, indicating a move back to a short-term short position for crude oil. Gold actually triggered a green weekly trade triangle on Monday at 1290 currently trading at 1297.10 on the day. Uh, down, or actually relatively unchanged at the moment, was down in early trading. Currently, chart analysis score is plus 70, indicating that we're in a short-term up position for gold, even though the long-term overall trend is down. Key level to watch would be 1293.60. A move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle indicating a move to a sidelines position in the short term time frame for gold. And then we have the, the shocker of all shockers, Bitcoin, currently up 1.7% today, but it has broken out with all the recent volatility, currently trading at 8,209 cents with a chart analysis score plus 100, indicating that the long term trend is up for Bitcoin. And a lot of speculation is that it's really become a safe haven for Chinese assets as people are moving into Bitcoin versus the traditional haven of gold. Key level to watch remains. 4,991.42, a move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move to a sidelines position for Bitcoin. With that, every success. Hope the rest of the week goes well. I'll be back on Friday to give you some updated numbers.